So this is what I like to call the secret garden. I call it that because, as you can see, it's kind of enclosed in a fence, and it's kind of hard to see from the outside. As you can see, I make arrows and nifty tools out of stone. I even made its own holder, and this isn't one of the arrows, not one of my best. I would say that like, probably, this is one of the best. I shape these stone tips and knock them like early humans used to. And this is my bow, and it's pretty cool, and it goes pretty far. Um, I'll be showing you around the secret garden, and I'll show you how to make one of so, these. What we have here are my spears and my shields. Check out these spears, they're pretty sharp. They're dangerous. And this requires a lot of crafting experience and I've been doing this since I was in third grade, so three years ago. Um, this is one of my battle hammers. And then I have this shield right here. It's got some pretty good defense, you know? And I nailed on a leather, a leather strap so you can hold and grip onto it. We'll teach you how to make the arrows over here. And I'll show you around some other cool stuff later. So this is Sebastian. He's gonna be helping Hi. me throughout my video. He's been filming for the first part. And He's got a lot of jokes, so look out for those. Yeah. I was the Kamarama. Yep. This is my flint and steel. I bought it from Amazon, from the company Uberleben. And I like to start fires. I used to start fires with like a magnifying glass, but that took ages to start. So I just switched to this. And it's pretty cool because once you strike this against the rod, you get a shower spark. Do you want to check it out? Pretty cool, huh? The first part of making an arrow is to chisel down the point. This just came out pretty well made, but it's not sharp, so we're gonna make it pretty sharp to tie it onto the shaft. And this is obsidian, which can be crafted into really nice arrowheads. So let's get started. Get that. It requires a lot of precision. So you would like kind of a slim rock so you're very precise and you don't end up breaking off the top. When you break it off, it won't be that great and it won't be a successful arrowhead. So we chis ch chisel down the edges and we got a pretty sharp point. Let's test it out. Oh, my mother that I loved her. <laughs> don't worry, I'm still alive. You don't have to come to my funeral. Right, make the arrow is you want to have this a little slit in the thing like this, and then you put your arrowhead down inside of it, not all the way. So you can see there's still a lot left there, so you don't put it down all the way. Then you take your twine or string or whatever you're using, just cross pattern, just go around depending on how long your thing is, your string is, twice. And I went around like this. Then you want to hold it very steady and I'm holding it in between my knees. Then you come. Cause that's totally steady. Yeah, then you come around and you tie a knot and then a double knot just to keep it in place. Make sure that your st string is tight so that the arrowhead does not fall out of the shaft. And it's pretty solid, might need a little bit more. to drop a like and turn that subscribe, the red subscribe button light gray because that's the best color. And if you don't,